Hello, I'm Harvey Godwin Jr., Chairman of the Limby Tribe. Today we were invited by Mr. Tim Hall to the Julian T. Pierce Clinic here in Pembroke, which is owned and operated by the Robinson Healthcare Corporation. This clinic was established in the mid-1980s and was named after Julian after his death. We're proud to be here and we're most certainly proud of the collaboration between Robinson Healthcare Corporation and the Lumbee Tribe in, in testing and vaccinations during the last 18 months. Proud to be here for a clinic named after Julian Pierce and a leader amongst our people. Hi, my name is Donald Locklear. I'm a nurse practitioner here at uh, Robinson Healthcare, Julian T. Pierce. Uh, I would encourage you to get the vaccine. Um, I would actually encourage the public to think about it. You hear a lot of myths, uh, a lot of things. Uh, people are afraid of it. <clears throat> but my experience, you know, working here and also working in the emergency room, I've seen a lot of patients come through that are sick. Uh, they get sick. Uh, their symptoms range from mild to severe. Uh, I've actually seen people that's actually died, had friends um, that's died from it. So I had COVID back in December. I didn't get too sick, thank God, um, but I ended up getting the vaccine in January. And I said by me being a healthcare provider, working in it, being exposed to it, I would kind of step up to the game and be a test, I guess, to see and to show my family and friends, you know, that it was okay. In my past history, I've worked at cl through clinical trials for about two years, so I had quite a bit of experience, you know, seeing how medications were made and produced. They're actually in the market. They're actually being worked on for like seven to 10 years before they actually go public. So with the vaccine, there was no way for us to possibly do this because everything being so new and it being such a, you know, a pandemic. Now, if people hadn't have died and it been so serious as, as it is, I wouldn't encourage, you know, to get it. I would say, wait, let's see what the end result is. But like I said, I've had family members to die. I've had friends to die. I've worked in the emergency room, worked here and known patients that actually died of it. I had a patient yesterday, as a matter of fact, she got COVID, her mom got COVID, and her literal words were, I believe if my mom hadn't had the vaccine, she would have passed, and she was 87 years old. She got pretty sick from it, but thank God she survived. But I would encourage the public to think about it. Um, I, like I said, I got the vaccine. Um, I did great, I did fine with it. I ended up getting the second one, had a little headache, a uh, little arm sore. I was tired, fatigued on the first one. But since then, I've been exposed to COVID. We test in the clinic all the time, working in the emergency room. I'm always around it. And thus far, thank God I haven't got sick. My name is Jamie Morgan. I'm a physician assistant and the clinical director for Robinson Healthcare Corporation. By taking the vaccine, you're removing yourself from being a potential host for the virus. And by doing that, you're helping to stop the spread. So if you have loved ones who may be at risk, you're not prote just protecting yourself, but you're protecting them. So that's always something to keep in mind. My name is Christy Locklear and I am the CFO here at Robinson Healthcare. I am also a proud member of the Lumbee Tribe and I am vaccinated. The shot is my shield. I got the shot because I wanted to protect my Vietnam veteran father. I wanted to protect my children. I wanted to protect my community, my RHCC coworkers and my tribe. Um, I was one of those individuals that was on the fence for quite some time. I was scared like many other people, um, but after doing research and talking with my providers here at Julian Pierce, uh, Mr. Jamie Morgan, I decided to get the shot. I thought that was the best decision for me and my family, and I encourage you to do so. Uh, one of the things that Robinson Healthcare has been good at during this pandemic is providing the vaccine and testing in this community, and we do that for free. Um, we are not here to make money. We are doing this to benefit our community and to benefit the tribe. Thank you. Hello, my name's Tim Hall. I'm CEO of Robinson Healthcare Corporation want to express my sincere thanks for this time together uh, for encouragement. Encouragement to each and every one here in the Robinson County area. Encouragement for the, getting the vaccine. We all have heard many, many things, but I rest assured on the science that is behind this, that it will assist and help turn it for the better of each and every one of us here in Robinson County. I too have been vaccinated uh, very little complications from it. And now we're looking forward to go forward 
at all our medical centers. Our seven centers that are located in Robinson County will provide the vaccine and or, or testing with just a phone call to any of the centers. These centers will, uh, you will be able to come in and get results uh, quickly and we will be able to uh, go forward in getting the vaccines to you as well. We're excited, especially in the Julian T. Pierce area, in the Pembroke area, that future plans are to come in and put a new medical center for the residents of the Pembroke area. We're very, very proud to share the name of Julian T. Pierce, his legacy, and it'll be carried on through a new medical center as well as the campus that it will be adjacent to here, right off of Union Chapel Road. Please come and get the shot. Thank you. This shot is your shield.